Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. We had a pretty decent snow squall push through the Boise area. The airport was getting about a third of an inch of snow. I think downtown got closer to a half inch at least. Some places could have got an inch with this thing as it moved on through. I want to show you Doppler radar. This is Mountain Home. Here's the interstate coming through. And so it is now snowing moderate to heavy, uh, I'm sure, in many locations in this green area in Mountain Home. And so we could get that half inch to an inch. The temperature at the uh, Air Force Base, which is down further to the south here, the bottom of your screen, not getting heavier snow, uh, is 32 degrees. So it's between 31 and 32 and there's likely some icy conditions forming on the interstate. Be careful driving until midnight tonight. We're going to be dealing with a few snow showers, but of course this is likely to be um, the last snow, the last big one coming on through. Want to show you a view of uh, what's going on with some of our Idaho Transportation Department web cameras. This is Broadway. It was coming down heavy. Roadway is just wet here, but a lot of snow on the side of the road are coating anyway to a, a basically a half inch of snow falling in many of these locations. That was Broadway. This is the Flying Y. Again, you see the snow here. The road just generally wet, but you have to watch out for some icy spots forming certainly on secondary roadways tonight as temperatures drop. The higher elevations, this is just a Horseshoe Bend Hill, completely snow covered, heading up to the north towards the McCall area. Now, this is not uh, Fort Hall, the Fort Hall between Pocatello and uh, Blackfoot. This is Fort called Fort Hall Hill. This is six miles north of Council on Highway 95. This was snow covered a little more before, now it's clearing. So watch out for some snow covered roads in those higher elevations, especially tonight into tomorrow morning. My three degree guarantee just barely made it. It popped up to 39 at the last minute here. 42 is what I have said. Tomorrow I think will be near 40 degrees, but a lot more sunshine coming in during the day tomorrow. The bigger series of light snow and moderate snow now falling south of Boise. This cluster is going on down to the south along the interstate. It is drier to the north and west, but there are still some snow showers lingering. And we'll see a couple here near Emmett coming on in. Here's one, a rain or snow shower mixed snow pellets around Caldwell. And again, any one of these could give us some slick spots in some of the roadways crossing in Meridian, a little light snow falling again till at least midnight tonight before that goes away. You see it's drying out to the north and west, but there are still snow showers in the mountains. Here's where some of the clear weather's coming in, and that's for sunshine tomorrow. Nice break here, but I think cloud cover will increase, I think partly cloudy Wednesday. Then on Thursday, we have a chance for a lot of cloud cover coming in, especially northern sections where I think snow could fall to the mountains. Sunshine tomorrow, there it is. On Wednesday, clouds early, then sunshine later. On Thursday, I think a lot of cloud cover will start to increase from the west. So the forecast is going to call for milder weather is lurking to the west, still chilly in the morning. But by the weekend, look at this. Temperatures warming up with the snow pushing well to the north. So tomorrow, bright sunshine, deep blue sky. This could be the problem here. A northwest breeze at 10 to 15, coupled with a high temperature around 41. It'll be a chilly day coming up tomorrow. West Central Mountains, lots of sunshine around. A cold morning, 30s in the afternoon. East Central Mountain morning snow showers and cold temperatures, then partly cloudy. Magic Valley, a blustery wind, 10 to 20. 35 degrees in twin, uh, twin with a 20 mile an hour wind. That's on the cold side. My honest side extended forecast. A warming trend is in store. The question is how much sunshine can we get? Mostly cloudy Thursday. I think it'll be cloudy Friday morning, but Friday afternoon could break out to be a really nice day. Either way, we're getting into the 50s. The question is how much sun. And I'll keep revisiting that as we get a little closer, but Friday and Saturday, everybody's kind of doing this here. I was I hoping you'd move that 59 to a 60. Thank you. Not just yet. We're going to work on that. I'm going to try, but <laughs> meteorologically, I've got to wait. All right. We'll keep it at 59 <laughs> for now. All right. Thanks, guys.